What's up everybody? I come to you with a quick video, five things that I've learned and been doing differently since I started training again around December 5th, December 10th of last year. So it's exactly two months since I started training again and eight months since my surgery for my rotator cuff and my bicep. Training is going really good. The physical therapy taught me how to use my bands, how to use my body, do different movements to help with flexibility, range of motion, and strengthening the muscle. Now I'm lifting weights, I'm doing calisthenics, I can do push-ups, um, I can do dips, I can do pull-ups. I still have a little bit of mobility issues, which I have a couple people that I'm working with right now to help overcome that. And I have goals for the future, most importantly, you have to have your goals. So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple goals of mine and then give you five things that I learned since I started training again. Number one goal, March 25th marks the one year anniversary of the fall in which I hurt myself. My goal is to go bouldering, which is pretty much like indoor wall climbing or rock climbing with a couple friends of ours. Um, they love doing that and I wanna do it with them, but I haven't felt confident enough to really do it. And I know by next month I will be able to do that. So that is the closest, most immediate goal that I have. Number two, my wife and I got married in April 2018. It's gonna be our uh, two year anniversary of being married. It's so crazy how time flies like that. So uh, my goal is to be able to do my handstands again. I grew up doing break dancing in Boston since the age of 14 years old. I, um, I did shows, was sponsored by clothing companies. Um, had a lot of fun doing it growing up and even when I got into my 20s and my 30s and haven't been able to do a handstand of course since my accident. So my goal is to start doing that again. That's goal number two in April. Um, actually I actually have four goals instead of three goals. Um, the third goal is gonna be compete again. The show that I'm looking at doing is the Muscle Beach in Venice Beach. It's usually July 4th, Memorial Day, Labor Day weekend. Those are the three days. So I wanna be able to do that um, later this year, probably in like September. So that's the third goal. And the fourth goal is to get my 1923 garage ready um, so that I can get my equipment, have it set up, get some really good content for you guys, showing you different exercises, techniques, ways to design your programs, some mistakes that people do, little tips and tricks so that you can tweak your exercises to get more results from them. Those are my goals, that's what I wanna do, okay? Um, so those are the four things that I have as far as goals. Now, last part, the five things that I've learned or that I've been doing that have helped me out since I started training again two months ago. Uh, number one, Intermittent fasting, right? Definitely helps to shrink the stomach so that you're not gonna be as hungry. When you do get hungry, it's more tolerable. You're more in control of your emotions and you don't just eat whatever you get your hands on. Number two, sauna. I love doing the sauna, especially after the workout. Don't do it in your shoes though, it'll leave them stinky. I do that before my training and I also do it after my training. Cardio. So for years I've known that doing cardio after you train is better than doing it before you train. If you want, you can do like five or 10 minutes, but you don't wanna burn yourself out doing it before you're training. So what I've been doing is if I am gonna do cardio on a day by itself, I'll do let's say 45 minutes of cardio, right? Fasted cardio in the morning, empty stomach, burn the most fat. If it's a day where I'm gonna train, let's say legs, I'll do my legs first, then I might do like 20 minutes of cardio after my training. I focus on the muscle building so that I can build a muscle that burns the fat 24 hours a day. And then when I do the cardio, I won't do it super intense, but enough so that I get a good burn. And that helps me to keep more muscle and burn more fat. If you try to do hardcore cardio and then work out with weights afterwards, it may work for you, it may not. For me, it wasn't. It was leaving me like weak and tired. Literally put your weight training before your cardio and you might see better results yourself. Um, so that is three, I believe. Um, also the inertia waves as far as cardio, I've been using that more. I've been putting up videos on Instagram. If you've already seen them, you probably know what I'm talking about. I got the uh, inertia wave duo, which is for two people so that you can do it at the same time. Uh, it's the safest way to do it too. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been keeping track of all my workouts, writing them down on my journal. If something is too easy or it's too hard, I make notes so that I know how to adjust it the next time that I work out. And if you watch my last video that I put up, I actually took a screenshot of the workout there so you could see each of the things that I did. And then just depending on how I feel after I do it, I adjust my program accordingly so that I continue to get progress. So um, another thing, uh, I started like 
well, I was keeping track of my weight, of course, like what is my weight when I leave the gym after the sauna? So I have that for each of my workouts. But today I actually started measuring body parts. So um, what I did was I measured my arms. So right now my arms, this is 17 inches. Believe it or not, even on my bad arm, it's 17 inches, right? Um, calves, 16 and a half, and that's not good. So for bodybuilding standards, what they want you to do is have the balance between upper, lower, you want everything to be in sync. It doesn't matter how big you get, you gotta make sure that everything stays, right, and balance. You get bigger arms, you need bigger legs to balance you out. 17 inch arms need 17 inch calves. If you wanna be symmetrical, you need to have those two numbers match. So that's another thing that I'm doing, learning to keep track you can get one of those tape measurers. They use it for like fabric. You could do it yourself and just kind of measure. Let's say I'm doing my bicep. I'll put it from the biggest point of the tricep to the biggest point of the bicep. And it doesn't matter how big your arm gets or small it gets, the biggest part is gonna stay the same. So that's gonna be the most accurate way for you to take your own measurements. So I'll be working on that so that I can balance that out. That's gonna be another goal of mine. Um, and then what else has been helping me out? Um, of course, making these videos, it pumps me up. I'm not a video editor, but I'm learning different tricks on how to do it and then putting the initiative to actually make these videos for you. It doesn't take that much time to do them, but you know, it helps me out a lot. And I know that some of the people that are watching are also getting help too, so that makes me happy. And I'm doing what I love. I love training more than anything. And that's what kept me safe in my teenage years and uh, when I had children in the future with my wife. I plan to teach them from a young age so that they can also benefit from it. And um, yeah, I'm here to help you guys and I appreciate you listening and watching. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. Please like, comment, let me know what you wanna see. What is it that you need help with so that I can make a video addressing it or I can answer your question in the comments. And again, share this video if you enjoy it. I'm gonna have more training videos when I have the home gym set up. I have so many training videos and uh, you guys already know what my favorite company is, right? Iron Master. I love them. Iron Master. Check them out on IG and YouTube. They're great. But yeah, I have a lot of plans for the future. And I'm working it out. I'm doing it. I'm making it happen. In my 1923 garage right here, we're going to have the illest home gym set up ever, you'll see. Anyways, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. 2020, make it happen. Peace.